Welcome to the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering at Arizona State University. Our college houses the undergraduate and graduate degree programs for engineering, computer science, and a majority of the technology programs that are offered at ASU. This presentation will explore the biomedical engineering degree program with a concentration in biomedical devices. ASU has five campuses that span the Phoenix metro area, and the Fulton Schools of Engineering are located on two of those, the Tempe campus and the Polytechnic campus. The biomedical degree program is located at the Tempe campus, but all campuses are open to all students regardless of where their program is located. We offer a free intercampus shuttle for our students so that they can explore courses, student orgs, activities, and resources at any campus. At Fulton, we offer 25 undergraduate degree programs, which provides a lot of choice and flexibility in finding the program that fits for you. We are called the Fulton Schools of Engineering because we categorize our degree programs into six schools, which are organized by theme and location. The first five schools from left to right are housed at the Tempe campus, and the Polytechnic School is housed at the Polytechnic campus. Our biomedical engineering students belong to the School of Biological and Health Systems Engineering, which you will see listed on the far left of the infographic. Each school has its own director, affiliated faculty, and advising unit, so as to provide greater support and specific guidance to the students within that school. ASU and Fulton have direct admission, meaning when students apply, they apply directly to the degree program they want to pursue. As long as a student meets the admissions criteria for their program of interest, they are admitted. It is important to note that some of our degree programs, including biomedical engineering, have slightly higher admissions criteria than the general university requirements. For a comprehensive list of admissions criteria, you can visit the Fulton Schools of Engineering website at engineering.asu.edu. Students in the Biomedical Engineering program are located at the Tempe campus, which is both their academic and residential home. First-year freshmen are expected to live on campus their first year, and our engineering students are currently registering for housing in the Tucker House. Tucker House is the residential hall for all of the engineering disciplines, and we are also expanding to University House for the 2020-2021 academic year. Students that are a part of Barrett the Honors College live in Barrett Housing, but are given the opportunity to live on an engineering specific floor if they choose. Today we are going to uncover what it means to be a biomedical engineer. Biomedical engineers are unique because they bridge traditional engineering with the other science disciplines, namely in the realms of biology and medicine. This is a rapidly growing discipline because of the rise of machinery and technology in all aspects of life and society, particularly related to health and wellness. Biomedical engineers work on everything from artificial organs and surgical robots to advanced prosthetics. This is an exciting field that pushes the boundaries of science and medicine to help solve some of society's greatest challenges. Faculty in the School of Biological and Health Systems Engineering apply engineering principles and methods to understand, define, and solve problems in medicine, physiology, and biology. Our faculty seek to transform society through developing use-inspired technologies and getting those technologies into use through entrepreneurship. By its nature, our research is inherently multidisciplinary and the potential impact is global. The faculty in SBHSE have a wide range of research expertise and research interests and is particularly strong in the following research areas. Our imaging faculty work on developing new imaging techniques and contrast agents that target specific pathologies, creating translational imaging technologies, and using novel MRI phase mapping methods to measure tissue electrical properties. They collaborate closely with local medical centers across Phoenix, the Magnetic Resonance Research Center at ASU, and the Keller Center for Imaging Innovation at Barrow Neurological Institute. Our biosensing and bioinstrumentation faculty focus their attention on research diagnostics for monitoring human and environmental health. They build microelectromechanical systems for better neural signal recording and drug delivery, and devices for interacting in real time with biological systems. 
Our molecular, cellular, and tissue engineering faculty focus on novel biomaterials for rebuilding damaged tissue, molecular and cellular therapies, and localized drug delivery systems for hard-to-treat cancers. Our neural faculty work on modeling and simulation of neural systems to gain insight into neural function, neural signal acquisition and analysis, and the development of specialized technology to evaluate and treat individuals with neural and biomechanical pathologies. The field of synthetic and systems bioengineering is based on the premise that living systems are modular and thus able to be engineered. This idea has spurred a new movement that has made a substantial impact on molecular and cell biology. In regard to basic research, synthetic and systems biology takes inspiration from the philosophical reflections of Feynman. Quote, what I cannot create, I do not understand. In SBHSE, we design genetically encoded information and cell microenvironments to gain a deeper understanding of living things as, as well as to generate useful products, such as advanced medical treatments. Here, you will find research and coursework in engineering gene networks, policy and governments, biological network modeling, and biomaterials for multicellular systems. Your first year in biomedical engineering is focused on developing a foundation in science and calculus. BME courses rely heavily on having a proficiency in math and physics, and your competency in these areas are predictors of future success in the major. You can expect to take calculus, physics, chemistry, and biology in that order. During your first semester, you will take BME 100, which is an introduction to the BME industry and potential career paths, along with developing a better understanding of what engineers do and how to work in a team. BME 182 introduces the design process and is your first product design lab experience. This course further develops skills in collaboration and teamwork. All first-year students also take ASU 101. As a BME student, this will be your first chance to interact with BME faculty and learn about BME research areas. This course will also teach you the keys to succeed and thrive in your first year of college. The Biomedical Engineering program offers students two total concentrations, Biomedical Devices and Biological Devices. The Biomedical Devices track provides students with an in-depth knowledge to translate an idea for a health solution into a viable prototype of a biomedical device. This track will focus more on the electronic imaging and sensor diagnostic types of devices. The difference in concentrations will appear in the student's fifth semester or the beginning of their third year, in which students in the Biomedical Devices track will complete 10 credits relating to signals and systems, microcomputing, and the Biomedical Instrumentation Lab and Lecture. The life of a BME student revolves around these core areas. While your specific activities will change between your first year and your senior year, you can expect to engage in these activities throughout the time you are in this program. Practice makes perfect, and the homework you are assigned in your courses is not to torture you, but to help you practice the skills and content you are learning. There are many support networks available to you to help you succeed on your homework. Fulton has two tutoring centers, and there is no stigma whatsoever about attending tutoring. In fact, it is highly encouraged. Your learning will primarily take place in the classroom and the lab. These are the arenas in which you will gain the content as well as the practical skills needed to succeed in this discipline. You will be assigned team projects, and learning to work productively as a member of a team is one of the greatest skills you will learn as an undergraduate. You'll need to balance your academic activities with all of the other fun and exciting things going on around you. Planning ahead is key, and your faculty, academic advisors, peer mentors, and friends are available to assist you. Hi everybody, my name is Allison Dewald. Um, I am a current junior studying biomedical engineering with a minor in engineering management. Um, I am based off of the Tempe campus. Um, I am from a small town in Wisconsin, so I'm an out-of-state student. 
Um, but it was definitely one of the best decisions that I've made to decide to go to ASU. Um, just going over a couple of programs that I'm involved in on campus. I'm in Fulton Ambassadors, which is a leadership organization on campus that does a lot of recruitment and out outreach events. Um, so things like this or um, other events that are held on campus are just some things that we volunteer for. Um, I'm also in Barrett the Honors College. I'm currently doing my thesis with Cameron, who will be introduced on the next slide. Um, I am in the Biomedical Engineering Society, which is just one of the um, engineering specific clubs that we have on campus. You don't have to specifically be a BME major to participate in the club. Um, but it is really great. They We reach out to a lot of industry professionals as well as um, professors. They come in, talk about their research, so you're able to kind of see a glimpse into the future of what this major could hold for you. Um, I'm also currently doing undergraduate research for my thesis, so I'm doing it with a doctor over at Dignity Health, um, and I'm doing some research regarding pressure ulcers and uh, pelvic binder projects. And then I'm also in Greek Life, which is um, an organization that is non-academic. Um, it's a really great opportunity for meeting people and continuing any volunteer that you might have previously done in high school, as well as um, just having some like more fun things to do in your free time um, that aren't related to engineering specifically. Um, so getting into why I decided to join BME. Um, so something really cool that my high school did was we had to complete a research paper on what we thought our future profession was going to be. Um, and I actually heard about biomedical engineering from one of my parents' friends. Um, it kind of mi mixes together both of my parents' professions. So my mom's in the medical field and my dad um, works with computer engineering. So um, it was a really great opportunity for me to kind of use my strengths in what I choose for the future. Um, so I ended up writing my research paper on biomedical engineering and I did a job shadow. Um, I ended up job shadowing a biomedical engineer. He graduated from Marquette, which is a university in Wisconsin, and he works with people who suffer from epileptic seizures, and he uses electrodes to target specific areas on the brain and then studies where, why, how those seizures are occurring, and then hopefully help them find a way to combat those seizures in the future. Um, so after I did that job title, I kind of realized that this is something I could really see myself doing in the future. Um, and then as I progressed through courses, I just am further um, trying to think of the correct word here, told or like shown that this is something that I wish to pursue in the future. Um, another great thing is that there's a lot of opportunities of what you want to do. A lot of students might go to med school on to do a PhD program. Um, some go to law school or you can go directly into industry and having that uh, option as an incoming freshman to know that <clears throat> whatever I wish to pursue, I was going to be able to was something that really stood out to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, some of the courses that I really enjoyed over my time um, are a lot of my BME specific courses. Um, so as you go through, you might have some more gen eds. I don't really want to call them gen eds because they really do relate to your degree, but like physics or chemistry. Um, but once I started to get into physiology, um, biomechanics, classes like that, I was really able to apply the knowledge that I learned in my first two years um, in the degree program um, and really see what I'm able to do in the future with my profession. Um, as far, okay, so I've gone through what I'm involved in. Um, something that might be helpful for you guys to hear is that it's okay to change your major in college. A lot of students do it. And I have a lot of friends who were in VME their freshman year and decided to switch out. Um, but a really great thing that ASU offers is a lot of different programs. So regardless of whether or not you want to pursue engineering or biomedical engineering specifically, you will have that option and that flexibility within this university to really find what your niche is and what interests you. And I think that that is a really great opportunity for you to know that you're choosing a university that has a lot of options for you to pursue whatever it is that interests you the most. Um, so yeah, that's it about me. And then I will pass it off to whoever's on the next slide. Bye guys. Good luck. Hi there. My name is Cameron Moore. I am a current junior studying biomedical engineering and Spanish linguistics. Um, I'm pursuing concurrent bachelor's degrees. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience at ASU and how I chose my majors. So I always wanted to do something that had to do with technology um, and healthcare, but I wasn't quite sure what avenue I wanted to take. I thought about working with a 
major that was something more biologically focused, um, but then I found myself craving more technology. So I decided to try out biomedical engineering. I originally started in the pre-medicine track as I was interested in going to medical school, but then I really fell in love with the technology and the ability that ASU has for students to develop their passion uh, through technology and through device design and engineering. Um, so I really felt that strong connection with my degree program and I, I did I ended up uh, taking myself out of the uh, pre-medicine school track um, and then also pursuing my interest in studying uh, Spanish as a world language so I am pursuing two bachelor's degrees in that and my, my, my goal my hope is to work for a um, healthcare organization um, that focuses on international healthcare and healthcare aid um, something such as the World Health Organization or Doctors Without Borders are some uh, career paths that are very appetizing to me. Um, hopefully it works out for me. Um, so far in my degree program, I've really, really enjoyed how my classes have given me hands-on experience, um, especially in my physiology lab. We learned so much about uh, the body, both in humans and in animal subjects. And we learn about how different systems work with each other through hands-on laboratory experience. I've also really enjoyed working with some of our other courses that are, are uh, less spoken about, such as conservation principles. I feel that class BME 200 is one that is essential to understanding a lot of the higher level physics and biology and chemistry that goes into biomedical engineering, um, as well as it introduces us to a lot of mathematical simulations and modeling um, and learning how to use tools such as MATLAB um, in, our, uh, in our careers. Some programs that I'm involved in outside of my degree, um, I am a member of the Barrett Honors College. I am a Fulton Ambassador, which is uh, the group that I'm speaking to you with now. It's a paraprofessional organization that allows students to make connections with prospective students, alumni, uh, current students, and it is a really engaging program for people who like to communicate and share their ideas with other people. I've also, so I'm, I'm an Arizona native, um, and I grew up in Cave Creek, Arizona, and I wanted something that felt close to home for me, but also uh, far enough away that I had my own space, and I definitely felt that with ASU. Um, it, it helped me a lot, gain my independence, I think, and um, ASU they really do try to focus not only on your uh, scholastic experience in the classroom, but also like your holistic experience at ASU, which I've really, really thoroughly enjoyed um, between all of the events that they have for first time students and um, all the other students as well. Um, and the amenities that are available to students, resources such as office hours, TA ships, things like that. I've definitely taken advantage of. I'm a, uh, a, an undergraduate teaching assistant for uh, BME 282, which is a sophomore level laboratory class, and it has been one of the best experiences of my life. I've, I've been able to grow and learn so much better the material from that course and other courses uh, through teaching. Well, thank you so much for listening to my little story. Um, I really look forward to meeting you, and I hope that you choose ASU and engineering as your career. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm a junior in biomedical engineering here at Arizona State. I am involved in a few organizations, some of which are Fulton Ambassadors, and I have been involved in Fulton Ambassadors since I was a freshman, and these last three years have been so much fun working with such talented engineering students and the amazing recruitment staff. We get to put on special events and host tours, and it's truly such a fun experience. I'm also in Barrett the Honors College, the Biomedical Engineering Society, and the Society of Women Engineers. And each of these organizations is so unique, and they've really allowed me to grow not only as a student, but as an individual for the challenges that we tackle together and the solutions that we find. Some of the courses that I've really enjoyed over my journey in particular are Organic Chemistry, Anatomy and Physiology, biomaterials, microcomputing applications, 
and biomechanics. And the cool thing about these courses in particular is that they each have supplemental lab sections where you're actually able to practice the skills that you learn in lecture. So not only are we being taught these concepts by such talented professors, but then we're actually able to practice the skills hands-on in the laboratory environment, which is probably why I've enjoyed the courses so much. And you also get to build such great relationships with your professors. They're there to help you and to teach you and they really just want to see you grow. And that's how I actually discovered who I wanted my thesis professor to be through one of the courses that I took earlier on this year. And I'm really excited to say that I am now involved in research that revolves around this coursework. And I am very excited to continue learning and growing and challenging myself with this research. So I chose BME because I really wanted to bridge the path between what I love and helping others. I wanted to problem solve and be a part of something where I believed I could make an impact. That was a really big motivation for me that I felt like I could benefit other people. And I love that the program at ASU does this because they merge the technical engineering work with the hands-on biological practice. We're allowed to be as creative as we want with things like design projects, for example. In the lab work that I mentioned previously, we get to apply the skills that we learn to these real-world examples and problems that need solving. And there's so many skills that I've obtained throughout my relevant coursework. I feel like my analytical and communication skills have definitely grown. My creativity has grown. My mathematical and problem-solving skills have advanced. And there are so many places for these skills to be utilized in the workplace and different career paths that you could take on. So this journey is definitely going by way too quickly. But I'm excited to continue putting these skills to practice with wherever life takes me. Thank you for taking this time to explore the biomedical engineering program with the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. If you have any questions about applying to Fulton, please contact us at fultonschools at asu.edu. If you have any specific questions about the biomedical engineering program, please contact us at sbhse at asu.edu.